I have two questions this week that are very specific. One is from a very young woman, and one is from a little older middle. Are they the kind of the same question? Well, in a way, it's, you know, it's like, how do I please my boyfriend? Are you having orgasms? I don't know. They don't tell me. Uh, are you happy with what's happening in your sex life? They don't tell me. One has a loose vagina, and the other one is quite sure she's never had an orgasm. And she feels badly, the young one feels badly, because these young men that she has sex with... Their partners with, want them to have orgasms. You know, did you come? And so I said, well, yeah, I say at some point you just go ahead and say, yes, I did get them off your back. But my question is, what about the woman? Is she having an orgasm? When you write to me, tell me if you're having an orgasm. Don't quail about how unhappy he is. It's I'm, Well, doesn't that say a lot, though? I think as women, how we see ourselves that we don't even realize it because we're raised and conditioned to be pleasers. Total. And that came out of my essay about my masturbation practice today is that from meeting you, I let go of a lot of those things because even though I was an accomplished woman, an educated woman, and an orgasmic woman, you can't help but feel that pull that you have to please. And that's maybe what keeps you from having an orgasm. No? Oh, I would. that's a big chunk of it. If you're worried about how you look, how you sound, how you smell, how you taste, how you feel, what? how does he see you, how, how do you appear in his eyes? <laughs> do you really think men care at all? They get the, they get the cock <laughs> in the hole and they're in oblivion. Oh, yeah, they don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm scoring. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me and my cock. <laughs> so please, please, women. You don't have to be perfect. You can have a mole. You can have freckles. You can have stretch marks. You can have, what else do we have? Because everyone does. Yeah, basically. Celebrities do spray tans now. So everyone's sprayed like a doll, and it looks like no one has any imperfections. People have told me to get a chemical peel because I have moles. Oh. And it's like, but what? I'm going to singe it like a couple layers of my skin off. Because of a mole? I have a mole. I'm not perfect. Life goes on. Oh, and I'm sorry that we're partners now. I had no idea. Where's <laughs> they are the, so flawed. Where's the damn mole? <laughs> <laughs> if we're constantly focused on how we appear rather than who we are, we're other-directed instead of inwardly directed. And you're never going to have an orgasm that way. You have to focus on your fantasies. You have to focus on the feelings. Right? Whatever you want. You are, you are it. Everything that is, yes, you have to be... The end all be all to have your orgasm. You have to put yourself first. Oh, imagine <laughs> putting yourself first. Oh, and then they say, well, that's so selfish. No, it's self full. It's full of yourself. That's what we have to learn. Not it's serving, okay. not pleasing, not supporting, not substantiating, nurturing, blah, 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 blah. Being full of yourself because that's the real woman that guys want. She's who she is, and you know where she stands. And you know where you stand, and I think that's yeah. liberating for them. Exactly. In my experience, I don't think that men want a drone, virgin, you know, perfect, pleaser, beautiful, perfect. Because you, can, you can't mess up their hair. In the end, in the end, what a man appreciates is an authentically orgasmic woman. You, you deliver that, and you're in, baby. That's what they want.